Today's episode features ten terrific creatures of the Marianas Trench, like the ancient frilled shark, the comb jellies, and the snailfish. Stay tuned for our number three, as you don't really want to miss it, even though it's pretty friggin' terrifying. Ping Pong Tree Sponge The gentleman admonishes us never to judge a book by its cover. But if you take that statement lightly, you might change your mind after seeing what this animal's up to. The Ping Pong Tree Sponge is a stalk-like creature named because of its appearance. It looks like a tree that produces ping pongs, funnily enough. These ping pongs are dotted with tiny-like extensions, and when prey approaches, it's trapped while the animal slowly devours it. This sponge's exposure to currents helps it to reproduce effectively. The swollen balls in the animal's branches produce sperm packets released into passing currents and captured on the branches of nearby sponges. The sperm then moves from the packets into the host sponge to fertilize the eggs. When fertilized eggs mature, the sites swell and form bulges of the sponge's branches. Only about 20 years ago, scientists discovered that sponges could be carnivores, though. Therefore, ping pong sponges are not an exception. This animal is a rare example of extreme adaptation in the deepest parts of the ocean, and you might be tempted to grab the ping pong tree sponge when you do find one. But be wary of this decision because it is a stone cold carnivorous killer. Well, killer to tiny crustaceans, of course. Tiny spicules can be rather irritating to human skin. The Frilled Shark As with all other sharks in the ocean, this one is pretty scary and can send chills down your spine. This is thanks to its frilled gills, six or seven instead of the usual five. With a slender, snake-like body unlike a shark, this animal looks more like an eel than a regular fish. Aside from the physical look, it does share one characteristic with its shark brethren, that being a massive amount of teeth, 300 to be exact. They're shaped in a way that nothing is able to swim past them, hooking into their prey and able to hold on to even the slipperiest of them. Thankfully, you aren't going to see this shark's eating habits up close anytime soon. This is because this shark lives at depths of 5,000 meters below the water, so it's one deep sea creature that you're not going to see unless it's of course sick and dying. Scientists believe the gestation period for this shark is three and a half years, so this makes it the longest of any known vertebrate. There isn't really a breeding season for the species, which isn't surprising as the season is not considered when discussing the deeper parts of the sea. Grilled sharks are also viviparous, meaning that their young develop inside the mother's uterus until they're ready to be born. Litter sizes range from 2 to 15, and newborns are around 24 inches long or less. The Sea Devil Anglerfish Anyone who's a fan of Finding Nemo's probably seen this fish and could be a fan. This black sea devil right here is just as terrifying in pictures as it is real life, boasting sharp teeth, exploring eyes, a gaping mouth, and a luminous antenna-like muscle protruding from its head. The light attracts its prey close to it so it can attack and have a nice meal, and that's actually pretty important for it because meals are hard to come by at that depth. Much like the frilled shark, this is a deep sea creature, though I don't believe it's actually as deep as the six-gilled shark there. One truly disturbing fact about this creature is that it reproduces when the male fuses into the female and lives off of her resources until it can produce sperm. When both creatures become one, the male loses its teeth, fins, eyes, and also some internal organs as well, effectively just becoming a mating flesh sack. It's honestly not that hard to believe, especially when you realize that the males are only around 1.8 inches, while females can grow to a far larger three. This makes it much easier for it to simply become a part of the body. Deep Sea Hatchetfish The Deep Sea Hatchetfish is a sour-looking creature ranging from 2.8 to 12 centimeters long. Their tiny size makes them easy prey for larger deep sea animals, but this creature has a genius camouflaging strategy that is second to none. As with most animals in the Mariana Trenches, this one is bioluminescent. This means that it can produce light that helps it roam around the bottom of the ocean. This animal can control the light it emits to match the one in the water, and therefore it's almost invisible to predators desperate for an easy meal. While hatchetfish are generally small, there is one that kind of stands out amongst the family, that being Archyropelicus, who stands at 6 inches long. Most smaller species are covered in delicate silvery scales, while others, like this one, are brown or green colored. Since there's little to no light where they live, their eyes are extremely sensitive to light and are good at distinguishing shadows against faint illumination from above. Aside from all that, not much is known about their life cycle, but researchers agree that they have a short lifespan of less than a year. It's also believed that they migrate to shallower waters at night to feed on tiny fish and plankton, and during the day they return to the ocean depths of up to 600 to 45,000 feet. Comb Jellies 
Cone jellies are visually captivating creatures with luminous bodies. They diffract any light on them and use their comb-like plates to move around the water. These plates run in eight rows up and down their bodies, and many microscopic organisms depend on cilia to swim, but comb jellies are the largest of their kind to do so. While they look pleasing to the eyes, they are voracious predators that attack their species sometimes. Some are as tiny as a few millimeters, but others manage to grow up to five feet long. Until 2015, scientists believed that comb jellies removed waste through their mouths, but a recent study disputed the claim, saying that comb jellies release waste particles through the pores in the animal's rear end. Many comb jellies have a pair of tentacles, but they're branched to give you an illusion of several tentacles. They use this body part like fishing lines to catch prey. They're armed with sticky cells called coloblasts, and unlike jellyfish, they don't sting. Chrome jellies also live a very simple lifestyle, with most species that can release both eggs and sperm into the water just kind of drifting around. Fun fact about that, if they run out of food while producing sperm and eggs, they shrink until they find more food. After the eggs and sperm find each other, the embryo develops into a larva resembling a small adult cetinophore. The Dumbo Octopus the Dumbo octopus has floppy ears and a deep-set eyes with eight tiny tentacles. It's named after a Disney character and, funnily enough, has not been sued by the mouse yet. These adorable copyright infringements live at least 4,000 to 4,800 meters under the sea. They measure in at 8 to 12 inches long and manage to navigate the water by flapping their fins. Although they look attractive, they can actually swallow their prey in one gulp, giving them a sort of terrifying edge. Unfortunately, they live in the part of the ocean that makes it difficult to find food, so if you see one, they're probably eaten for dear life. Unlike most animals, but like a lot of the animals on this list, they don't really have a breeding season. Males give female sperm packets so they can lay eggs beneath the rocks, and their life expectancy is between three to five years. The few details you have read here are merely scratching the surface, though. There's a lot more to learn about them, but we can only learn more about them if we allow the ocean life to thrive by keeping the environment clean and not hunting the animals, which is quite common for this species, sadly. The Deep Sea Dragonfish The Deep Sea Dragonfish is also called the Scaleless Dragonfish. It's a deep sea predator that emits light that helps it survive in the deepest parts of the ocean. It has large teeth compared for its size, and while it measures only about six inches long, it boasts dragon-like features that make it look like an apex predator. It creates its light through a process, again, called bioluminescence. This light helps it attract its prey and potential mates. There's about 67 species of this fish, all of which look familiar. Like some of the other entries on this list, actually encountering this fish is pretty unlikely, simply because of how deep it actually lives. They reside in the ocean's Bartheal Zone, home to extreme temperatures, complete darkness, and strong pressure. Since only females migrate to the water surface to feed, it took scientists some time to differentiate between both sexes. Today, we know that males are smaller than females and do not share the same glowing barbels as the first one did. Males actually don't have teeth, but females do. And rather, their fangs are embedded with nanocrystals that make their bite stronger than a shark's. Instead of hunting for food, males wait for the females to do the job for them. Now it's time for the day's best pick. And while it didn't come from the trench, it certainly looks like it did. The Shark Statue. Oh god, that is gonna give me nightmares. I've seen this one before, but it still terrifies me. Thankfully though, what you're seeing here isn't a live animal. It doesn't eat children, but it does have that terrifying grin. No, this is actually a prop from a 2007 short film titled Chaka Lock. This was found in Lake Nuchato in Switzerland. When images of this animal broke the internet, users were confused about its significance. This horrifying statue was deliberately left at the bottom of the lake, and when scuba divers found it, they were pretty terrified to say the least. Since then, the monument has remained at the bottom of the sea, and no one's bothered to get it out. Probably because it's, again, freaking terrifying. Maybe the people who put it there wanted to warn divers of the dangers in the lake. No doubt that the ocean is dangerous, and no one, not even expert divers, should feel too relaxed when they visit. Either way, I think I'm gonna take a shower rather than take a bath tonight. Sea Cucumber The sea cucumber spends most of its life on the deep sea floor and breathes through its anus, and no, I'm not joking. It's a small echinoderm from the class Holotherodia. These marine animals have leather-textured skin, and their bodies are often found lying on the sea floor. There's over 1,700 species of Holothurian around the world, but most of them are concentrated around the Asian Pacific region. They're named after their shape, which resembles a cucumber, and sometimes this animal is hunted for consumption in Asia. 
Their presence, however, is essential for the marine ecosystem because they break down detritus and other matter, thereby cleaning the ecosystem. Sea cucumbers feed on algae, waste materials, and minute aquatic animals. They break their food into smaller pieces that become fodder for bacteria and recycle them into the ocean ecosystem. When threatened, sea cucumbers discharge sticky threads to scare their enemies. Their reproduction pattern is a little strange, though. It's neither really sexual or asexual. It takes several sea cucumbers to actually sexually mate, and fertilization occurs when they merge. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. The Snailfish The snailfish is an interesting and unusual animal that lives in the Arctic to Antarctic oceans. There is over 410 species of snailfish known to science and a couple of others that are yet to be discovered. They live about 8,000 meters below water, but unfortunately little is known about them because of the distance. However, a couple of details are known, sort of like how their scale is and have loose skin. They also have small teeth and have prominent sensory pores on their heads. This fish is slimy and pink in the deepest part of the ocean, and it makes a living in total darkness at pressures of up to a thousand times more than sea level. The snailfish is not only abundant at the bottom of the ocean, but it's also the top predator there. Researchers have studied the anatomy of this fish and found some peculiarities. First, the fish have gaps in their skulls, and this helps the internal and external pressures to be balanced. If the animal had a complete skull, it would be crushed by the pressure. Their bones actually aren't made of just bones, but also cartilage. The team that undertook the study also found that fish have a mutation in the primary gene responsible for the buildup of calcium to harden the bones. This mutation causes the genes to be partially non-functional. Since moving chemicals in and out of the cell is difficult, though, the snailfish produces many proteins that transport these substances, making it sort of an all-rounder organism. See you all next time!